Well, I vowed to make a video every day. And uh, I didn't really do too much instructional video today. I kind of tried to get caught up on getting this done. And uh, I just kind of want to add, somebody had uh, sent me an email, and they're 100% correct, that I didn't, that I cut this far off straight. And I or this doubler and I shouldn't have so what I did was is I doubled it up there's one on each side of longer pieces of plywood that all the way went go all the way out to here and kind of angle off and kind of spread the load it's been so long since I built one of these wings I had even forgot to uh, cut out the slot for the lead outs and I had to do that so you know just part of the process and uh, so far it's a uh, three and a half ounces I took it out of the jig and weighed it and uh, we'll see what it weighs when it's done well I'm shaping the trim leaving and trimming edges now Just taking a black plane and we're knocking you know easily knocking down from this material up here taking our time we don't want to don't want to dig into that sixteenth inch sheeting. But I'm kind of anxious to get a weight on this. I took it out of the jig and I didn't weigh it, so... We'll get it weighed here in a second. Now this is a millennial wing. I call it a beam wing because I built a beam instead of a just a sixteenth inch D tube. Now, I'm going through this pretty quick. I've had a lot of practice doing this. You don't want to go too far. You don't want to dig that sheeting. So I'm just roughing it in right now. We're getting it close. And as soon as I get it close, I'll, I'll be a little more cautious with doing it. <coughs> Like there, we got that close, that quick. Let's take this off here. We're taking about three eighths of an inch off of this seating. I don't know where my calipers are. So I can't really measure this, but I would say that this is no more than ten thousandths. So that's what I have my blade set at. I don't have. I'm not taking a sixteenth of an inch at a time. And it, it takes no time at all at ten thousandths a, a stroke. I've made up my mind what I'm going to do with this airplane. I'm not much of a monocoder. 
but this was just a test airplane <coughs> to see, you know, how light I could make something. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and monocoat this airplane, the wing anyway. And if I don't like it, I can always rip the monocoat off and cover it with tissue. But So we got that. I want to see what this wing weighs. But I want to get this uh, material off the leading edge. I'll be sanding with a long 30 inch sanding bar. So that it stays straight. <clears throat> this is my one video for today. Not much of an instructional video. More of a just showing you where I'm at with it, with the wing. It took five hours total to build this wing. I kept real good track of the time, how long it took to cut through. Well, most of it's on tape. Okay, let's knock the trailing edge off and we'll weigh it up. Got to be very careful on the trailing edge because there wasn't much to. Boy. Now the only thing I don't have made is the sheeting, but sheeting in the tip. But if this is around five ounces, I'm gonna be extremely happy. Okay, let's weigh it up. Now it's all about sanding. The weight of this wing is 4.7 ounces.
4.65 ounces. <clears throat> That's real good, real nice. Let's add some sheeting if we if we took all of this <coughs> to sheet the center. Three, five, five ounces. So I'll cut some pieces for the center. I'm, I'm making the center sheeting a little larger than I normally do. But I'm going over one extra bay. But that shouldn't matter. But I'm happy. It's a, it's a good weight, and it's dead straight. It's a good win. And when I get it sanded up, I'll show you what it looks like. So we'll be back in the show. No sense in burning. Well, here's the wing. It's all uh, finished, and I thought that I would weigh it for you on camera so you can see how much it weighs. 4.9 ounces. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The only thing that's not on is the tips and the, uh, you know, the weight box. <clears throat> So, half ounce a piece for the uh, tips. We're looking at a six ounce wing plus flaps. So, six plus an ounce for the horn, that's seven. Bell cranks a few grams. I'm using the uh, Steve Wilk bell crank in this. It weighs <clears throat> six grams, I think. I don't know where it's at. Let me see if I can find it was right here. <laughs> I got more sh more crap going on here. But uh, <clears throat> we're going to end up in the uh, I don't know, 8 ounce range for a wing. That's pretty darn good. So I thought I'd uh, load this up. Nothing too fancy tonight. Uh, I just wanted to get a video up for today and uh, we'll see you tomorrow when I continue on with this I'm going to show you the, the layout of the fuselage this is uh, going to be an electric shoestring so stunt plane not a scale plane so we'll see you on the next reel be sure to like subscribe and share this video with your friends because I need to hit a thousand subscribers somehow so we'll see you on the next video. Until then, fair winds, tight lines. See ya.